Hi guys, my name is Runeman here, and I'm going to show you... I'm going to give you some tutorials on how to mod Minecraft. How to make your own mods. Not install them, to make your own mods. Now, people see this stuff and they go, Oh my god! Ah! And they freak out. It's not hard, it's really easy guys. You just gotta understand what it's saying. And once you know that, it's very, very easy. So what I'm going to go, uh, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to show you what you use to mod Minecraft, and it's something called MCP, Minecraft Coder Pack. So if you just go Minecraft Coder Pack, yeah, you'll probably see it, bam, and right here, MCP releases, okay. So download the latest version, and basically what Minecraft Coder Pack is, is it decompiles all the class files, it takes all those little files which make Minecraft run and it breaks them down into code, into Java code which you can then read and edit and everything. So, download, and you can see MCP's now downloading, so we'll wait for that to finish. Now something else you're going to want is mod loader, okay? I'm pretty sure you've now had lots of mods already, and they say, Oh, you require mod loader, you require mod loader, get it now, or else this mod will never work. Yes, there's a good reason for that, and that is, mod loader prevents uh, you from overriding main classes, and I'll show you what those are soon enough, um, in Minecraft, like important key classes, and it just prevents compatibility issues you could say. So if you download, download the AdFly link, I mean, d go on. Don't, don't listen to anything it says, but download the AdFly link, I mean, just be nice to Risigami, give him some pennies, you know, and just go skip ad, and it'll download for you. There we go. So now you see we have MCP and we have mod loader. So I'm just now going to go into my downloads. I'm just going to bring the two out here, so MCP and mod loader. I'm just going to clean that up. Now what you want to do is, um, before you do anything, you install Mod Loader into your Minecraft. So if I just go here, I go Minecraft. Um, I'm just going to create a new Minecraft. So I'm going to rename this one so it doesn't know. Minecraft Aether. So y you need a fresh Minecraft.jar, and I'm going to do that right now. And I'm hoping you guys know how to install mods and everything already. So my name is Four. I'll probably skip this because I don't want you guys to know what my password is or how long it is because I know people can do that. Yeah, so I'll... Now, um, once you've updated, okay, you're going to install Mod Loader and you're going to do a few things with uh, MCP. I'll show you what they are in a second. So, yes, we have a fresh micro.dr, you see, we're building a new world, you know. New level, building terrain, da -de do da -de da So here we go, you see, we have a new world. Yeah, we've already got an achievement, there's my character. Cool, okay. So let's quit and let's close that. Now there's lots of tutorials on how to download Mod Loader. And I'm going to use the Mac tutorial, just to show you guys, unfortunately, because I have a Mac. But um, you, there's lots of tutorials, okay? Um, you could probably look it up and you'll find out how to install Mod Loader. So what you do, yep, so you open up the terminal, here. Yeah. And you just go here, you copy that, and you paste that into there, push enter, you open up Finder, MCTMP, open up Mod Loader, take all that, drag it in there, replace. I could have just and replace all this, you know, amazing. And then you can, and then you can throw mod loader away and into the trash. Cool. So that's done. Yes. Copy. Paste. Bam. So that is uh, mod loader installed now. Yes. Now MCP. Very very good thing. Open it up, and you'll see all these little things. Clean up the bats, decompile, reobfuscate, recompile, start client, start server, update MCP, update MCP, update names. 
And then you have all these little folders. Don't worry what some of them are. Um, I don't use like 40% of them. So, what you want to do is you want to go into your jars and you'll see this, okay? Server properties. Forget that. Don't worry about that. Now, go to your uh, Minecraft bin. For uh, for Minecraft library, uh, for Mac library application support Minecraft, yeah, pretty sure most of you should know that by now. Just copy the bin and the resources. So, copy. Just paste them into the jars. Yes. Now, that is done. That's all you need to do for MCP for now. Uh, actually, no, you've got more to do. Sorry. Now, open up terminal and go cd space and just drag that file mcp in there and push enter yeah just so you can locate to it or else you could drag it from there now go bash space decompile.sh now if you're on a mac you go .sh if you're on a windows you go .bat okay so don't come to me saying, oh I got an error, it didn't work. If you're on a if you're on a PC, dot bat, yes? So bash decompile. You just drag it in there and you push enter. And MCP is now going to do a lot of stuff, so we're going to wait. It says modified jar detected, so it knows we have mod loader in there. Don't worry about that. And it says we have updates available. I'll do that later. So it's now telling you what it's doing. Da, 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 da. And y you get these errors about 2 out of 2 hunks failing. Don't worry about it. It's never affected anyone, never, nor has it ever affected me. Don't worry about the 2 out of 2 hunks. I mean, it's just it's boggle boop, if you could if you want to say. Now, you'll probably get this error as well. Missing jar file jars minecraft sir, dot jar. That's because, if we go into the jars, we have the bin and resources, but only for the single player. If you go onto Minecraft, you'll see uh, like a server.jar, and if you download that and put in the jars, then you won't get that error. But I'm not going to do many tutorials or servers, mainly because I don't know how to. Right, that is MCP all set up. Now you're going to want to download something called Eclipse, and what Eclipse is, it's like a, a text editor, you could say. So you open it up, and um, you're going to have to do something with it quickly before you actually open it up. So you go here, you go browse, yeah, and you choose your workspace. You're gonna want to go. You're gonna want to choose your workspace as the Eclipse folder in your MCP, yeah. So go open, and go OK, and it's now gonna start up. Lots of waiting guys, sorry about this. And it's now going to open up Eclipse, if I just make it bigger. So now you see we have two things, client and server. Yeah? Now the server, the reason we're getting that error is because we didn't have the server at the beginning, remember? So if you want to, you could actually just delete that and go OK. You don't need it. And you see here, if you go client, sources, N net minecraft sources and then you see here are all the files which let minecraft run this is what you're going to be playing with and this is what you're going to be using yes nothing else just this unless you're a modding god will you need to use any of the others um, maybe, nece maybe not necessarily unless you've got other stuff for minecraft to do this is what you're going to be messing with there's no need there's no reason to mess with the rest Okay, thank you for listening to my tutorial. This is on how to set up MCP. I will be giving more tutorials and I will be getting into all the good stuff, into the coding and how to code your own blocks and items and mobs and all sorts of stuff. I will be getting into that stuff. But for now, guys, thank you for listening and I hope to see you next tutorial.